Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video. In this video we're going to be talking about Stardust Engine and the progress we've made over the last week alongside basically announcing a little partnership that we're going to be forming and the first ever Stardust Engine project. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it. <laughs> So over the last week or two, basically Stardust Engine has been getting set up, uh, basically the API is being built, uh, a lot of the core principles are being implemented and designed, and it's basically a very rapid development stage where things are prone to change and subject to continue to change further as we move on with the project. Currently right now it's a very streamlined and efficient system of basically using the engine. Uh, it really requires only a few functions to really get started with Stardust Engine and it's a very simplistic and easy API to work with. This being said, we have full math functions and we have utilities, things like that. Alongside we're also doing things like event management and networking which are being currently implemented and networking is still going to be worked on sort of passively as time goes on, especially considering the project that we're pairing it with. This being said, Stardust Engine is continuing to upgrade and continue to get better with every single day uh, that we basically put time and work into the development and it's becoming something that's quite useful and is actually becoming a very good API to use. Currently, as of the moment, though, it does not have any real documentation, and for that reason, it's not really a publicly available C++ API yet, as it's not necessarily going to have all the support and things that you would expect of it. This being said, however, does not mean that we still can't use it as a C++ API, and that's exactly what we're basically doing uh, with PSP Chat. PSP Chat is basically an unofficial homebrew sort of Discord client for your PSP, uh, which is a very cool idea and concept, and it's made by my friend Noach, uh, who I have spent a lot of time working with on this project and things like that. So naturally, it makes a lot of sense for the two to sort of combine their efforts together in order to make the best sort of project possible, as it really benefits both of us to do this. For Stardust Engine, it really provides us an opportunity to see features used, debug things and really start to get sort of feedback upon what uh, can be improved, changed, and things like that. And for PSP Chat, it offers a strong, stable base that is continuing to grow with more and more support and more and more features that will allow it to continue to grow and prosper in the future. Stardust Engine as an overall concept and an overall design feature is meant to be very sleek and streamlined in order to provide basically the most power with the sort of smallest moves that you necessarily need to do. It's simple and easy to use and that really will help a lot with the development of PSP Chat which also wishes to be a sort of simple and easy to use application as well. Given that the two are fundamentally similar, it also makes sense that the two would work well together. So if you guys haven't already, I'm going to be linking to both Noach's channel, which you guys should definitely go subscribe to, alongside basically the PSP chat project itself, and some of uh, Noach's videos. So with these changes incoming, it's going to really start to kickstart the development of both Stardust Engine and PSP chat, and help the two develop and grow together, alongside legitimize the use of Stardust Engine as an actual game engine. Alongside, it's also going to help in the overall development of the PSP homebrew community. So without further ado, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out Noach's links in the channel description below, and I'll see you guys later on with a Crystal Dawn vlog.